I thought I had a pretty good day. Um, benched well, needed to show that. A lot of people, being an undersized guy, everybody kind of focuses more on your like speed and athleticism and quickness, but I had to show that I was a strong guy too. Um, you know, the vertical jump went well too. That was a PR for me. Never jumped over, you know, 30 inches before my entire life. So that was kind of cool getting up there, show some explosiveness. Um, and then the running, you know, I, I pulled my hamstring about a, exactly a week before, and uh, I kind of knew that I was going to had to take it easy on it a little bit so I could, you know, do the whole entire pro day and, uh, you know, the 40. They have times on me, so I wasn't too worried about running um, that great of a time. I just kind of wanted to test it out and see how it felt. And uh, I ended up running like a 5-3, which, you know, I was not really close. I'm usually like a 5-1 guy, um, but I just kind of had to test it out, and it wasn't 100%. So um, pro agility went well. I thought I did that pretty well. Um, and then, you know, all the other running stuff, I thought I showed off some quickness and what I needed to show. And uh, I think I, you know, ended up top 15 for at least everything in the combine. So that was kind of nice. And um, just kind of showing where I sit athletically was uh, was a goal of mine to you know prove that I can hang with the hang with the bigger school guys and um, now it's just you know focusing on uh, training for rookie mini camp is going to be a big deal uh, yet to be in I from what I hear it's you know crazy the intensity of the practices so I have to be in the best football shape of my life and uh, just kind of working towards that and kind of leaning out a little bit and uh, so that I can run a little more and not huff and puff during practice so. Um, that would be kind of nice and just kind of building on, you know, good weight. And uh, like I said, I had, you know, about two months put on 20 pounds. So, um, you know, not all of it, <laughs> not all of it was good weight, but uh, for the most part. So that's my goal is just kind of keep adding that good weight and more lean and uh, just get prepared for rookie mini camps and uh, for what's to come after that. And hopefully I get, you know, some invites here within the next uh, couple of weeks to go down to facilities and check that stuff out. and. And yeah, draft is April 26th, and I'm not, you know, expecting to be drafted. But you know, if I do, it'd probably be the 28th, the last day. And um, I'm just looking to get an opportunity and you know, do what I can with it. Kind of crazy. Um, being an offensive lineman, you're not really used to being talked about. So uh, you know, it's kind of something different. But it is, you know, love the kind words from PJ Fleck. He's a great guy. Um, be a great guy to play for. Um, just, you know, out of high school, like like I said in the paper, you know, you can't blame the D1 schools for not uh, recruiting me because I was like, I was a, you know, I was a fullback in high school, running back and um, not very big, didn't play for, you know, a very good high school. So it was kind of tough to get recruited. And, uh, but, you know, uh, you just got to take your opportunities, what I got when I came to BSU and, you know, build off of it and put me in the spot where I am right now and can't thank the coach staff and the strength staff and all the professors, everybody here enough for what they've done for me along the way and you know, give me this opportunity. And, uh, you know, I got to thank God for giving me the opportunity as well. You know, I got sick and uh, I kind of found my, found my faith and, you know, he's been a, he's been a big, uh, big part of my life and helping me build that and uh, come back and come back as strong as I have and be as motivated as I have to, to, uh, you know, give myself this opportunity to move on to the next level. So NSIC's top three conference for Division Two, and you know all of the country. So great competition, always playing. You know that higher caliber level of players, and you know maybe in some other conferences. So uh, that definitely helped out. Just kind of going against some some good competition and building off of that. And long 2016 or two seasons ago, my junior year, getting to go to the Mineral Water Bowl and play some different competition in the MIAA and that's, you know, another top three conference in the country. So that was kind of nice to see where you're at, you know, and uh, then just kind of building off of that, getting getting down to, you know, ETS and, and uh, training there for a little while and um, just happened to be where uh, Adam Thielen trains at. So, you know, it's a good, good place to train and they did a good job of kind of tuning me up a little bit and uh, getting me where I needed to be to uh, turn some heads at the pro day. So I think I really shocked him with the bench and showed some strength. And I think that was kind of a, a question mark for them is how strong is he? And, um, you know, and just film wise, I think I just kind of show a little bit of a little bit of toughness, a little bit of nasty out on the field. And that's how you got to play as an offense lineman. Um, you know, uh, I'm athletic. I'm, you know, I, I can pick up offenses pretty quickly and, you know, just having, you know, coach Olson and, uh, 
you know, the techniques that he brought in and taught and um, just kind of helped me get to get to where I need to be. And, um, you know, they're still looking for a little bit, you know, it's hard to gauge just because the competition I was playing was, you know, it was a, it was a high competition for Division Two, but it's hard to gauge that when, you know, guys are going against Division One guys. And um, so, you know, they wanted to see some of that. And um, that will probably be the biggest question mark is, you know, how is he when he goes against, you know, a, a level up a competition mm -hmm. and, you know, even more in the pros, you know, fast it's going to be. And uh, I was lucky enough to get an invite down to the College Gridiron Showcase in Texas. And, um, you know, it was a combination of a lot of D1 schools, uh, a couple D2 guys, and, you know, got to see the pace and show what I can do there. And um, so, yeah, now it's, you know, it's in God's hands and we'll see what happens and just got to sit back and, you know, do my due diligence to make sure I'm ready for any opportunity I get. So interior guy, just with my height and my size, uh, you know, you get in the pros, a lot of the guard tackle type guys are all the way up to 6'8", and, you know, minimum 6'5". And uh, then you kind of go interior with center where I'm at, you know, you go from like 6'1 to, you know, 6'4 and half-ish. So I'll probably be an interior type guy, play, you know, center guard. And then, uh, you know, kind of the trick of being in the pro, being in the pro alignment is you just got to be able to play everything. So, you know, if the team gets desperate enough and I have to kick out the tackle, then, you know, you got to be able to do that. You kind of got to be a jack all trades and um, just be able to, you know, be, be, make yourself so valuable to the team really that they have to, you know, they have to keep you. So, yeah, definitely interior, but if I have to play outside, I'll play outside. Keep putting on uh, a little bit better weight, a little bit leaner weight. Um, continue to, you know, rehab my hammy. I got to get that back to 100%. Um, and just kind of build off of, you know, speed and started, you know, really watching film a lot. Uh, some advice I got from one of the scouts down at the Combine was, you know, you got to start putting yourself in those situations where you're getting up, you know, at six o'clock in the morning, you know, three times a week, just so you know, it's not a total shock to you when you have to do it at Ricky Mini Camp and, you know, watching a couple hours of film a day. And uh, that's another thing Coach Olson did, you know, it's really nice of him to send me some of that uh, professional film that he has so I can watch you know, some of the guys at the next level that I want to model myself after, uh, how they do it, and uh, just pick up on little techniques and, uh, you know, the, the speed of the game and, you know, making calls and and uh, just becoming a student of the game, I guess, is a big goal of mine. Um, just continue to learn because that's what, you know, that's what it is at the next level. It's everybody's athletic, everybody's fast, everybody's strong, but it's whoever's going to go that extra, you know, one, two percent to give themselves an edge over everybody else. and. Um, I was also lucky enough to work with Matt Burke a little bit. He's a former Viking center, and I think he, then he went to Baltimore. Uh, and he played a long time in the league. And he gave me some some pointers on just you know flexibility and uh, stretching out, and you know how he had such a long career and avoided injury, and um, just what that little extra one percent that he did, and uh, to give him an edge to allow him to play for so long, and you know really be one of the best interior offense linemen to play the game. So. Yeah, it's just finding your niche and finding um, that one, two percent edge that you can to um, get yourself the, the advantage over your competition. So.